bring you to library story before that do hit the like button on our page and check out all of our previous episodes let's go <laughs> So most of the patients that needed to do blood tests and urine tests, they normally need to fast for a few hours. And laboratory is the place where the blood and urine will be taken to be tested and to find out more information about the health of the patient. This can actually help the doctor in diagnosis and also treatment. We have Jensen with us here today to uh, guide us through to know more about uh, how our blood test and the urine test result come about. So hi Jensen. Hi everyone, I'm Jensen and I'm Senior Medical Laboratory Technologist and welcome to our Epinet Adventist Clinical Pathology Laboratory Services and Design. Have you ever wondered, after your blood has drawn, what happened to it? How it was processed and how do we get the information and blood test results? Well, you are probably very familiar with this area as this is the place where your blood will be drawn. Have you ever noticed that the tube to store your blood sample isn't empty? Instead, there are special chemicals which is known as anticoagulant in each respective tubes, except the plain one, with the purpose to prevent blood sample from being clotted as a requirement of specific test. From there, the lab can process the blood accordingly and able to get the result we want. Now, I shall bring you to the laboratory area and to show you how are we going to process the samples. Samples that are brought in from outside will basically need to be sorted out accordingly. Some tubes need to be spinned by using the centrifuge, while the others can be run directly using whole blood sample. Our blood is made out of plasma, red and white blood cells and platelets. These components need to be first separated in order to analyze it. Next, the blood sample will be sent to the hematology department to analyze the complete blood count. Complete blood count is a group of tests that evaluate the cells in our blood, including red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. The complete blood count can evaluate our overall health and detect a variety of diseases and conditions, for example, infections, anemia, and leukemia. Next up, the blood samples will be sent to chemical pathology and serology department. So, what do they analyze here? In this department, specific analyzers are used to give us the result for renal function test, liver function test, cholesterol, and etc. For other tests that involve culture samples like swabs, urine, body fluids, tissues, feces, all these will be tested out in bacteriology department including the COVID-19 swab test. This department focuses on pathogens culture to aid the physician to rule out the potential pathogens that are potentially causing disease. Jensen, I noticed that we have this thing at the corner of the lab. What is this for? Oh, actually this is emergency eye wash and shower equipment. Emergency eye wash and shower serve the purpose of reducing workplace injury while keeping workers away from various danger of chemicals and hazardous substances. Last but not least, here's the blood bank. Blood bank is where blood donors come in to donate their blood. Screening tests will be done here as well. The donated blood will be processed in this department to obtain its blood components.
The need for blood is always there. For patients who underwent surgery, people with severe trauma, complex medical procedures, cancer patients and more. Blood donation is a great act of kindness and it saves lives. It's so much fun to get to know how our blood and urine being processed in the lab. I hope you feel the same way too. Do share this out to your friends and family and follow our page for more interesting videos. That's the end of today's vlog. I'll see you next time. Bye!